91 is unique for Galapagos. Populations of this species inhabit five islands, right? And look at his launch of it. Oh my I think David, he thought that he wanted to take his cactus. That's why he took it away. <laughs> it is. Actually, during Pirates Day, even the Galapagos 200, 220 or 30 years ago, this cactus, which also is unique for Galapagos, called Opuntia, Galapagos Opuntia, right, was the most important source of moisture for these people, you know, for, for these people at that time. This is a lady one endemic. Right, does she have a name? Right, of course. Margarita. Her name is Margarita. And how do I know that? How do I know this one is male or female? At first sight, right, it could be both. Because sexual dimorphism is not a clear marking between male and female, right? Uh, but I know another way to distinguish male and females that you're also going to learn when we find a couple far ahead, right? Eyes. If you check out of the frigates, sitting on the trees, they actually are nested. Most of the frigates, most of the frigates that you can see on top of the trees, females, are females. Males, males remain females um, no more than two or three weeks after the eggs hatch. The whole fledging process is actually done by mama, by the female. Female is actually the one, mother is actually, mothers are actually the ones that do the total incubation, like mostly, you know, protection and feeding of the little, of the little chicks, right? That's why in the case of frigate males, they mate every year and females every two years because the fledging process is about a year and a half. Okay, folks, we go very close, but please, everybody, totally quiet. We scared her away. Now he's pissed. Isn't that amazing? Ego will be deflated soon. You see the other one lower on the right side? That's another male. If you go like that, it's already deflated. So that means it's made already. Now he's helping to the incubation of the egg. But not for so long. Two or three wings and that's it. And the <laughs> other one, as I said on the other side, is still looking for a mate. He's still waiting to be chosen by a female. In the case of frigates, in the case of frigates, like eating males and children, like after a serious elaborated and romantic courting, right? Sometimes very fancy. Like, like this one here. Not expensive. It's the courting of look at the level is moving around. Right behind a windstorm. Why is it coming closer? <laughs> That's true. All the time. They, they are adapted with a very special gland to be able to detect the pheromones around when it's breeding season. Okay, so we continue on this side, guys. Well, look at how he loves paparazzi. He's posing <laughs> <Yeah>. for you. <laughs>
food or steel food? Steel, steel food. Steel food. Both Mo females and males, they feed on the same way by parasitism. The stealing food. Closer. Look at that. Look at that. Mom is getting closer, getting closer. He's motivating mommy. Big. More, more yeah. than us. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you see? Yeah. Let it let it. And also, every time when they feed their babies, they have to behave actually in that way. It's not because they're bad, it's because they have to teach how hard the food conditions. Yeah. You, see, you, see, you see that? You see that? He, he tried to steal the food. Yeah, he did. The right male right. came and stole yeah. some of the yeah. food. Yeah. There he Wow. See? Exactly. She, it's it's yeah. Didn't you see him carrying off some food? Right. Your he guy never it. say lies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right out of the baby's mouth. Exactly. That's why mama yeah, is not know. gonna baby's feed him. It's she's gonna. She still has food. Yeah. But better she came back. It's also one. Thing. 